Republican leaders are saying. Lex? As we told you, President Biden condemned political violence during that speech, emphasizing the need to lower the temperature in our politics, saying it's, quote, time to cool it down. The president once again wished former President Donald Trump well in his recovery and mentioned the shooting victims. Biden listed off previous attacks on American political figures. To make his point, political differences should be handled at, quote, the ballot box, not with bullets. President Biden said there's no place in America for this kind of violence and we cannot allow for it to become normalized. Ultimately, Biden says there is nothing more important than standing together. Oh, we may disagree. We are not enemies. We're neighbors. We're friends, co-workers, citizens, and most importantly, we're our fellow Americans. We must stand. This weekend, we talked to both Senator Sullivan and former Lieutenant Governor Craig Campbell, who is Alaska's RNC Alaska National Committee man on his way to Milwaukee for the RNC. It's always important to reiterate that political violence has no place in our country. We are all Americans and we resolve our differences at the ballot box, not with violence. I think people will be energized to come out and actually show their support we're not going to be cowered by villains that want to kill people. We're not going to be cowered by individuals that talk about violence against those they disagree with. Those are a few examples about what we've primarily seen as far as tone across party lines about the attempted assassination. Leaders saying this is not how American politics can ever operate. Joe. Thank you, Lex.